So this is a video about the RV generator. I've been scratching my head over for quite a while now. It's about 30 years old. It's a Generac GN 360 NP50G. There's some manuals and stuff about it online. And this one has about 250 hours on it. Um, but yeah, I've had no end of problems um, getting the thing to keep running. It'll start and then just you know, fire right up and then shut right on down. And so you look online and the help is about the oil pressure switch or the oil temperature switch or the voltage or some other thing. But, um, and if there's, you know, maybe it'll even talk about just, re you know, potentially replacing this control board here. Um, but it's expensive, um, $200. And uh, I want to be confident that, that was my problem. Um, I think different models of Generac generators came with replaceable relays and so on and manuals for those ones like the NP55 will tell you to replace the relay but on this, this control board here, those are the two relays and I mean you can't replace those, I don't know why, very difficult to do that so it's a hard thing if, it's, if the relay's gone bad it's hard to know you know test that without just buying a whole new control board but what i eventually found is what you can do is interrupt the ignition shutdown circuit and on this guy that's this wire here which is this fourth wire in this plug of 15. i've just snipped that i want that basically that that wire exists is it'll ground the spark plug when you want to shut it down or there's any sort of fault condition so if the Oil pressure goes low, a switch will close, and that wire will ground. If you press this, you know, the shutdown switch here, it'll ground, it'll shut down. But for some reason, mine was always shutting down. As soon as it just started, it immediately shut down. So I just cut that, and after I cut that, this thing just runs right along. No problems at all. Um, it does mean that to shut it down, you have to, recon you know, we make that circuit again and maybe press the shutdown switch but at least you can test whether you have a bad control board or not once you've eliminated that the you know the pressure control pressure switches in here the high temp switches behind there once you've done those tests which is tests for um open circuit um at up operating conditions once you've eliminated that this is the last thing you can do to be sure that your problem you have is with, with this control board. So just a bit of advice for anyone trying to fix up a generator that starts, immediately shuts down, and one of the, the last diagnosed solution you're on to is replace the expensive control board. So hopefully this helps.